Today I'm partaking in Jillian Norwood's Saturday Morning Mix. And if you're not familiar with her, I'm going to list her YouTube channel in the description box down below. So this is a community of crafty folks. You don't have to, it's no particular crafting. You Anyone could join. You just hashtag Saturday Morn Makes and you share what you created. So this is done on a weekly basis, mainly on Saturday morning, but you post whenever you have the time to post. So I wanna give a shout out to Jillian Norwood. Thank you for making this available for anyone to join. So if you're interested in seeing what I created, please do stick around. Welcome guys, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Claudette with Miss Puff Creative Corner. And let's jump right into my Saturday morning makes. So let me share with you some of the supplies that I've used in my project. These supplies are by stamping up, so I use this scallop lace trim, which is a cream color. I also use this frayed gross grain ribbon. This is a nice soft pink and you could fray the edges as the name says. These are the stitch shape dies, which is not current. These are the stitch rectangle dies. This is current. These are the tailor-made tags. I use the, the scallop contour dies. So these stencils were gifted to me and these are older. And so you could use these to create little stitching to the edges of your um, projects. They also have one for a circle. I'm not sure if you could see that. Okay. And the paper that I use is called Pansy Petals. These were 12 by 12 paper and they have design on both sides. And this is what I have left over of it. And these were just beautiful. They had some nice gingham designs, nice floral prints. I also used this tag top of punch, which is not current. Some of the um, stamp set that I use just for sentiments is brew some fun. I used the It's Your Birthday. The special moments is just doing, they have a, what they call celebration. You could get these as additional bonus to your um, order. And I use this one for this sentiment here for someone who is wonderful in each and every way. I also use Measure of Love. This is current and I use the little cupcakes here. This Crafting Forever it's not a current um, stamp set and I use this stamp right here made with love. I also incorporated some diamond stickles, but the star of the show is this stamp right here. Isn't she gorgeous? And I got this off of eBay. It just was this one sing single stamp. I'm not sure if it came in a set. This is by Sampin' Up at 2004. And I want to give a shout out to Tina and I think her YouTube channel is Crafty Bean and she got me turned on to the wooden red rubber stamps and the older one. She does these amazing hauls. Tina, just keep doing the hauls because you see so much that you otherwise you won't see. And I just love the different stamps that she have, the older stamps and especially the ones with the patchwork. So I said, let me go and see if I could find some of these older Stampin' Up! wooden blocks, red rubber wooden blocks. And I found this one on eBay and oh my gosh, she is just up my alley and she is so gorgeous. Thanks, Tina. And um, I'll list Tina's um, YouTube channel 
down below if you want to check out her amazing hauls. She also makes some beautiful cards too as well. So let's get into the little projects that I created. It's nothing much because this is my first um, Saturday morning mix. So I created this card right here. I use a vanilla cardstock and this is a thicker vanilla cardstock. I have the gingham paper right below it. That's my first layer on top of my cardstock. If you could see that. Then I have this scallop paper right here and I just dab the edges with um, a brown, brown ink. And that brown ink is called crumb cake and that's one of Stampin' Up Colors. I just took a dauber and I just edge sponge up the edges. I also sponge up the edges on this um, paper right here and I use the stitching, that stencil to do the stitching here along the sides. I stamped her out in an oval and I color her with Copic markers. And I use maybe four different shades of um, the skin tone for the Copic marker. And I just love this stamp because that helps me with um, working on my blending and shading. And um, with her shirt, I use the, and the Copic marker, markers are alcohol markers. And I use for her shirt, stamping up alcohol markers. I also use a gel pen to add some dimension and shine to the little buttons on her shirt. And this is It's Your Birthday. I popped it up with some dimensionals. I also popped up the cupcakes and dimensionals after I color it. That's why I add the diamond stickle to that. And there is my little lace bow that I created. Then in the inside, I stamped the sentiment for someone who is wonderful in each and every way and I use a dark brown and I carry over I carry over the gingham to the inside I put a little um, banner punch or a fishtail cut to the end here add some more cupcakes and I carry this little strip right on to the back and that's where I stamp my Made With Love. All I have to do now is add my little signature to that. So I hope you guys could see her and see it, the card. And I really love how that came out. So I stamped up a lot of those little, of this little girl right here. And so, and I could just practice my blending and my shading and get my skin toned down. So I also created um, a gift tag. So on this tag, what I did when I created this, I used the blue and I cut that out. I used the scallop punch to cut the top out. And then I add another white tag layer on top of this. And that's the um, tailor made tag. And um, so that has the little stitching to the edge. I love how this blue and the pink looks. I did her shirt to match that blue and that's like pool party blue by stamping up. Add the cupcake. I popped up the sentiment. I edged out. I use a dab of sponge and sponge it the white out with some of that blue. I brought in this pink heart, which I got from the Dollar Tree. I add some tw twine to it and I add some twine here to the top and then I add my bow. I put two and from to the back. And then I just spray her with some shimmer spritz. If you could see her, I don't know if you could see that little sparkle. Okay. And so on this one, I just added the oval circle. And on top of this green, and I just like how purple and green looks, or even the pink and green. And I color her sh shirt, we call this, so this is a Fresh Freesia, which is a purplish pink. So I colored her shirt, I have the, um, the alcohol markers. So I add a little gray to the collar and the tip of her sleeves. And I stamp the sentiment in the same color, add a little purple there to carry that over. So I'm not sure if I want to create this as a tag or just a layer to the top card. 
So let me bring those in. And isn't she beautiful? So with this little stamp, it could be created with any occasion in mind. You could say Merry Christmas. You could say Happy Mother's Day. Oh my, it's, your, it's Mother's Day. Oh my, it's Christmas. You could add little gifts here. You could add flowers down here. You could add a cake. So you could create this for any occasion, for any age. So this could be created for old and young alike. If you guys got any creative value from today's video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload my latest videos. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Claudette and I'll catch you guys on my next video.